working on uh, our first uh, special gun. Uh, I wanted to do, uh, I started, well, we incorporated uh, Cimarron in 84. But even before that, I was importing uh, through Allen Firearms in Santa Fe, New Mexico, who I bought out later. But uh, the first special gun I wanted to make that nobody did was a U.S. Cavalry model. So for research, I bought this book by Keith Cochran about Colt Cavalry and Artillery and Military Revolvers. It's a great book. It's a great uh, research book. It's very detailed. We brought out the Cavalry model. The first one we brought out was the APKC inspected model. And we uh, ran that for a while and then I wanted to change over to the Ainsworth inspected cavalry model, which would be the correct one for Custer to have at the Little Bighorn. And just by coincidence, uh, we're in the shop one day, me and Charles Hudson, who's my employee for 37 years, at uh, this fellow walks in and he had this he had this old colt in his hand. He wanted to trade it for a he wanted to trade on a Henry, you know, replica. And so I looked at it and it is a it's an artillery model colt. It's US, which was a cavalry model that they brought back in and refurbished them somewhere around 1890. And uh, they took all of the parts and threw them in a pile and, and then made guns out of all the parts. So this one has an Ainsworth frame and an Ainsworth barrel. And the other parts on the gun are Henry Nettleton. But it's a really cool gun. So I was reading through my Cochran book here and I saw this title, this header, it says Custer Artillery Model. So I said, well, what the hell is... So I read it, and what it said was uh, that artillery models between 4,500 and 5,500 are missing. And so they assumed that these were with Custer at the Little Bighorn and all were lost. And, uh, but anyhow, research, further research, so that, that serial numbers 4516 through 5521 were issued to Rock Island Arsenal and eventually to the 7th Cavalry. Okay, then the last line, Cochran makes a note that artillery mall revolver with frame and numbers of 4599 is one of these scarce to rare artillery mall revolvers with possible 7th Cavalry connection. So I read that and I said, damn, that sounds like the serial number on that gun I traded the Henry for. So I went and got it. And sure enough, this is serial number 4599 in Cochran's book. It's listed as a Custer Artillery. The frame and barrel are Ainsworth, which is proper for Custer. And then the, the other parts on the gun are Henry Nelton. So anyway, I was real curious at why he picked that serial number. So I called him. I called Keith Cochran. He was alive then. He's gone now. But Keith told me that the reason that he picked, well, I said, why didn't you use 4598 instead of 4599? Because it could have been, you know, the same situation. He said, yeah, that's right. But he said, at the time I wrote the book, I owned serial number 4599. So he owned it and then later traded it or sold it or something. And it went around and around and came up to some guy that, that just wanted a, a Henry replica. So he got his Henry replica and I got this great artillery model, 4599, which could very well 
have been with the 7th Cavalry during that campaign. So anyway, just an interesting tidbit about one of the guns that I picked up over the years. And I've had this gun since probably 82, which is a long time ago, if you are old enough to remember it. So anyway, that's all for today. Mike Harvey from Cimarron Firearms just giving you a little information on some of the guns that we have in our safe. And uh, we'll be back with some more uh, at a later date. Thanks for listening. Bye.